Look, am I trying to get a signal or... Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just trying to contact my home planet. You know, I would believe that I was an alien because none of my family are ginger. Hello everybody, hope you're well, nice to meet you if you're new. My name is Becca and today I want to talk about a topic that's quite close to my heart. For a very long time I really cared about what people thought of me. If I'd ever made a mistake in the past or if people only knew me briefly or if people knew me as a child I would hang on to this and I would always think that they hated me or they judged me or they felt that they knew the person I was now. I think as people we spend a lot of time worrying about what other people think of us and it takes up a lot of time and energy and effort to feel as though we are correcting those misconceptions possibly about what people think. I I'm very caught up on the past. I focus a lot on it and I spend way too much of my present thinking about it. You see, the past doesn't exist and it takes a little while to realize that and all the philosophy around it, all the science around it is a bit of a mind boggling thing to think about. But when you actually come to terms with that, it becomes a lot easier to forgive yourself, forgive others and move on with your life in the present. Like I said, I have spent a lot of time in the past and I don't belong there. I don't belong anywhere other than here in this moment right now. It is human nature to compare ourselves and to also blame ourselves and other people for what happened in the past. You're not odd for doing that if you do that, so please don't beat yourself up about it. But we do spend an unnecessary amount of time living in the past and caring greatly about what other people think of us and we don't need to do that. But it can be a hard thing to realise and it can be a hard thing to come out of. It is a habit. Caring what people think of you is a habit and that might feel odd because it's something we think about constantly. It just becomes natural to worry about what other people think of us. So I want to share with you a few things that help me to not care about what other people's opinions were, what other people's judgments about me were. I want to tell you about the art of not giving a <laughs> Firstly, stop comparing yourself to others. I know you do it, you know you do it, you know I do it, you know your neighbour does it, everybody does it. Everybody compares themselves to other people, but what good does that do us really? In some respect, comparing yourself to somebody else could help in a way. It could help you get the career you want or progress in a hobby, but otherwise what does comparison actually do other than make ourselves feel inadequate. When I compare myself to other women or successful people, I don't ever get happiness from that. I only ever get jealousy or upset. When we stop comparing ourselves and our lives to other people, we then naturally don't think other people compare us to them. Comparison is a form of judgment. We are judging somebody's life and assuming it is better than ours. And so it's no wonder that we think other people are judging us and thinking our lives are worse than theirs. Comparing yourself never gets you anywhere. The only time comparison is essential is when you compare yourself to where you were a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. If you can compare yourself to the older version of you and feel proud and happy of how far you've come, then that should be the comparison that you focus on not other people. Another thing that really helped me to stop caring about what other people thought of me was the fact that their opinions are none of my business. If you're a nosy person, which we all have traits of being nosy, we all like reality TV or we like watching vloggers on YouTube, you do tend to make other people's business your business. But actually, what somebody thinks is private and if they think negatively of you or if they think positively of you that's none of your business not really this is a really hard thing to come to terms with but it's so so valid the only thing that's private in our lives now especially in this day and age is our minds and if you appreciate privacy and if you feel glad that no one else can read your thoughts 
then you cannot expect to read anyone else's. Privacy is a privilege and we all get it up here. We don't get it on our phones. We don't get it password protected on our computers. Chances are somebody out there can read what you're posting online, but nobody, nobody can get into your head. So we also have to respect that other people have that privacy too and their opinion is their business. I got caught up on this one for a long time because all I wanted to do was please everybody. All I wanted was everybody to like me and I wanted to be that popular girl that everyone thought was nice and was funny and was pretty and was all these things. But actually, even if people think that on the surface, it doesn't necessarily mean they actually think that in their mind on a day-to-day -day basis. If you just let people have their opinions, whether you like them or not, and let that lie and step back and realize that's okay, that will help when you try not to care about what others think of you. Also, chances are nothing you do will change the opinion of someone who's already got a strongly held belief about you. So why not focus about being a better person in yourself and happier in yourself than changing the mind of somebody you don't really care about yourself. Sometimes people are horrible. And do you want them to like you? If everyone in the world liked you and thought you were a great person, you are doing something seriously, seriously, seriously wrong. Everybody has different opinions and everybody believes different things. So sometimes it's actually good for people to have negative opinions on you. If somebody who is extremely racist has a negative opinion on you because you're extremely accepting, surely that's a good thing. I would much rather be hated by somebody who hates and loved by somebody who loves than loved by someone who hates. My goodness, does that make any sense? I feel like I just butchered a really good point then. Oh well. <laughs> Basically, it would be wrong if everybody liked you because we all have differing opinions and we all like different things and believe different things also. So maybe just accept that if someone doesn't like you, they share different beliefs, different morals, different attitudes to the world to you, and you shouldn't care if they don't like you. Basically, so what if a horrible person doesn't like you? Don't waste your breath. Could end the video right there, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Another really important thing is to focus on yourself and to focus on self-acceptance. Quite often, caring a lot about what other people think and their judgments is a result of how you feel about yourself. If you feel you aren't very funny or you feel as though you're not intelligent or you're not very good with people, if you feel as though you're not a friendly person or you're all these negative things, then of course you're going to think other people think them too. When you've got really low self-esteem, it's so, so hard to get out of this mindset where you think everybody else sees all the negatives too. But trust me, you couldn't be more wrong. The people that love you don't just see the positives. They see everything and love you anyway. And that's important. The people that like you probably only see your good side. And the people that don't like you probably only see your bad side. But it's important to know that the people that love you see both and love you for who you are anyway. So maybe instead of focusing on the people that don't like you, you should be self-accepting enough to know that those that do love you, love you for a reason. So pick out those good things about yourself, pick out the love that's in you and work on self-acceptance a little bit. You can do this a few ways by journaling and gratitude practices, but it also comes down to you and how you see yourself when you look in the mirror. I've struggled with this for a long time and a lot of my poor relationships stemmed from a negative self-image, so I get it. But it is possible to find self-acceptance and self-love if you really look for it and really, really try and it's so worth it. And you do end up, as a result, not caring so much about what other people think of you when you love yourself enough and that means something. These are just a few things that have helped me to not care particularly about what other people think of me. It's all a journey and sometimes I don't feel that way. Sometimes I sit and dwell on the mistakes I've made in the past and what my neighbor's neighbor's friend's brother thinks of me. What does that even mean? <laughs> even when you really don't care about what other people think of you, you sometimes will. And that's the thing. 
None of these things are absolute. Just because most of the time you don't care about what other people think of you, doesn't mean some days you will not. You will care. We are all learning and we just adjust to how we feel each day. One book that has really, really helped me to get to know myself a bit better and to accept myself and to not care about what other people think is this lovely little, little gem of a book. Just hear that. And the smell. In this book, Darren Brown talks a lot about happiness and what it actually means and how we can achieve it in a way that isn't sort of airy-fairy and all that toxic positivity. It's a hard read and actually there is another book that he's written called A Little Happier, which is just a condensed version of this book, but it changed my perspective on life and I really mean that. I actually listened to A Little Happier on a long drive one day. I was in the car for about four hours and I finished the whole audiobook and I remember getting to the end of the drive and just breathing out and actually feeling lighter and feeling more able to go about life in a way I hadn't been able to before. Darren Brown talks a lot about ancient philosophy, modern philosophy, and finding meaning in a life that actually possibly doesn't have much meaning at all. It is such a good read, and I cannot recommend it enough for anyone looking to explore happiness and explore the art of not caring a little bit more. I can pop a link down in the description for anyone that does want to get their hands on this special book. Like I say, sometimes it's important to care about what other people think, but sometimes it's not. If it doesn't serve you to worry about what happened 10 years ago, then why are you still thinking about it? If it doesn't help you progress further or allow you to become the person you want to be and the person you know you can become, then why are you still clutching at it? We are always going to care about what somebody thinks, but maybe we should care a little bit more about what we think about ourselves and then in turn maybe not care so much about the people that don't matter. You don't have to please everybody, you don't have to love everybody and not everybody has to love you. But finding that little bit of happiness and finding the ability to not care so much about what other people think will help everybody lead a bit more of a happy, relaxed, comfortable life. My wrist clicked twice then, three times. Ow! Thank you all so much for watching. I am so, so grateful for each of you who come back or if you're new, welcome again. It's nice to meet you. Do like and subscribe this video. It helps so, so much. I'd love to hear about what you think about this video, my past videos, and possibly what you wanna hear about in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye post credit scenes even though i don't have credits <sighs> seriously though for those of you who get this far and this is like a little conversational chat at the end of each video get this book and then tell me what you think i want emails i want comments i want messages just telling me how you feel about this book and darren brown if you're watching this legend you are a legend good sir good sir Excellent. <laughs>